Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and as promised, I'm going to show you how to take an embossed image, and this is embossed with the gold uh, metallic embossing paste. To show you how to take this and turn it into this, where you have your embossing, and then you can do wat watercolor over it. Okay. I don't know if you there you can see the shine there. I love it. I like this Im, the image like this, but I like to put a little bit of color to it as well. So what I'm going to use, and if you want to know how to wet emboss like this, I will link the video below where I showed how to wet emboss this image. So that's already done, and I didn't want to do that again and take up extra time. So I'm going to be using the Derwent watercolor. This is a 24 pack to color these. Now I use the little water brush that has the tiny tip because I found that the ones that are larger than this they really get out of line really bad. So and I don't put water in the tip. I just use a little water bottle and dip it in there when I need water. The reason that I don't put water in the chamber is these tend to let a lot of water out at one time and I don't want, which this one has a little bit inside it, but I don't want that amount of water out on an image like this because it would end up messing it up. Okay, we'll start out and I may not show every Let's see if I can get a little closer. I'm going to show every bit of the coloring because that would probably take way too much time. But, okay. So we're going to start off with the red. And I'm going to do red in her dress. And I just go over the um, embossing. I don't try to miss it. I just go over it because as long as it's good and dry, I hope I'm not getting my head in the shot, it will not hurt it. <clears throat> so just put down a little color. And of course a little darker color where you need it. And I think I just got a little on the doggy head, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Sometimes when I hold it where you can see it, the lights are a little bit off for me to see. Okay. Now we'll take the water brush. See, mine has a little in it already. I'm going to try to hold this where you can see past my hand. But I like the tip on these because it lets you get in there to the little spots. And even though I love watercoloring, I like for it to be not quite so free-flowing. I'm a little, little bit OCD when it comes to that. I like it to be in the places that I put it. And if I get quiet, just excuse me, because when I color, I get a little quiet. I know, more people wish I'd color more often. Okay. So that, you can see. Also, the, the tip of the little brush picks up just a tiny bit of that glitter and moves it around to the areas that you want it and that's what I like about it. And then it sticks back down when everything dries. Okay, so we'll put a little bit more uh, definition on her dress when this layer dries. But right now, we want to wipe this off and I'm going to get my little puppy before I end up messing him up. 
I think we'll make our little puppy brown. Little brown dog. Go over that on his head. Hopefully it will go over it. And I won't have a red-headed dog. Because a brown dog needs a brown head. And then a little brown tail. And it doesn't take a lot of these pencils, the watercolor pencils, to get what you need. Well, he may be a little auburn color. That's okay. I hope you can see this. And as you can see, I've not added any water to this up to now because it did have a drop or two in it so I'm just using that okay we're gonna wait to fill in on the puppy right now we're gonna go back and fill in a little bit around his head and do us a little little bit of shadows on the dress Because it is night and the porch lights are on she's dropping a letter in their mouse slot and as you can see right now it doesn't really show that but when you color it all of that will pick up so we're going to put a little bit more color there And then while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and color her bodice of her dress. water down here to kind of pick up these highlights and the dark shadow spots go around the little doggy head without turning him too awkward okay on the bottom. Do a little bodice up here. Color on her sleeves. As you can see these pencils absolutely have lots of pigment to them. And they're so easy to color with. I love them. Right, and then you can also, if you want something a little darker, you can go from the tip the pencil to your watercolor brush or to your brush you can use a regular brush and just put in the little where you need a little bit more color or a little shadow Now I am not coloring on watercolor paper. This is just regular cardstock. The reason being is if you do this, if you try to stamp this image, emboss this image on a regular watercolor paper that has a little bit of texture to it, it will not emboss as well as you need it. So when you're working with this, just make sure to kind of don't keep going back over the same spot when it's wet because your paper will peel up. Okay, that is it so far. Isn't that pretty? 
Okay, let's see. Let's do, I think we'll do the door. So let's do the door in, the sides of the door. Let's do it in a kind of a brown. And I may just do one side and then the other side off camera. It's so like I said, I don't want this to take too long for you. I don't want you to get bored with me. Okay. Let's put that in. Okay, we need to clean off our brush. So I just dip it in water and then wipe it on my towel until the end gets dried up. And I thought I just saw a little ant. I'm having ant problems. Okay. Then you're just going to go in and put your water to that. Okay. Isn't that pretty? And it's so easy. It's just, I mean, it's not hard at all. To me, it's easier to color this way than it is to have the image just stamped regularly and color in. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the green for the bush or the little Christmas tree. We'll do that. So that you can see all the different colors. This is very relaxing to me. I don't know if everybody feels this way or not, but. I love to just sit and color. Wish I could do it a lot during the day. It relaxes me. Okay, so now we're going to wash off that brown and make sure that we've got our brush tip good and clean before we start on the green. Isn't that cute? And there again, if you need a little bit of shadow, a little darker in spots, whatever, you can go straight to your marker, or your pencil, or you can take your pencil straight to the paper. See how dark that gets when I do that? Because my paper is already wet. So it's pulling that pigment off of my mark, off of my pencil. Don't know why I want to call it a marker. I know better. So there you go. There's the little Christmas tree. And let's see. We'll put a band around the little pot right before I try to finish up the parts that I have started. Okay, again, we're going to clean off our brush. Just don't forget to clean your brush off. And then we're just going to just very carefully touch that with the brush and it brings it alive. 
All right, let's see. Let's do the little lamps since we haven't gone up there. Um, what the lamps are going to be. Lamps are going to be lit up and bright, yellowy color. Okay. Alright, and I've already washed my brush off, so I'm just going to go in and put a little water to that. And it just brings it alive when you put water to it. Look at that. Alright, let's see. I think I'll do the little envelope. That way you can see. You see the envelope's really not showing that great right now, so we're going we're gonna to do the little envelope and just show you what happens when you just add a tiny bit of color to something that is embossed like this. And you don't have to do it as dark as I did. Um, you can do it whatever. Okay, let me get where I can see it. There you go. See how the envelope just comes alive when you add just a tiny bit of color to it. Alright, what are we going to do now? We're going to put, I'm going to put a little green on her bonnet just to kind of tie in everything. And this is a very detailed image. You, you could do one that's not quite so detailed. That would be fine if you want to make a lot of cards. This one, these will probably just go on some special cards to my family. Sorry, I'm going to bring it up here so I can see every little bit of it. There you go. There's her little. And you, do you see, oh, let's see if we can get this up here. Do you see where it's picking up just a tiny bit? Oh, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I was going to show you just a tiny bit of that sparkle and spreading it around, but no, you're not going to be able to see it. That's okay. You know what I'm talking about. And now for the snow, you know snow is not completely white. Even though we think it's white, it looks white. We're going to use, I'm going to put down a little bit of the white on the tops of the things that would have the snow. And a little bit down here. And then we're going to use, let's see, just a tiny bit, just a touch of the gray okay clean our brush off again kind of bring that to life And I know it's hard for you to see that, but it is giving it just a tiny bit of color for the snow. I don't know. You may not be able to tell at all. There's a little bit. And you know, it would be dirty snow down there because people would have walked through it and that kind of thing. So that is how you can color over an embossed image. It is very simple, but to me it adds a lot to the character of the image, of the stamped image. If, um, if you get a little bit much like I did right there, just tap it off. You know, if you're like me and you just, you want a little bit more color in there other than just the embossed, then that is how you do it. 
Very simple, but very elegant. You get your sparkle everywhere. And you know, when I, when I finish and I go around the door and, and the other tree and the mat, everything will be shiny, sparkly, but yet it's going to have some color in there to make the image look more alive. Okay. I hope you like this tutorial. Um, this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. It's very pretty, very shiny. I didn't have any buckling of my paper, hardly at all. And like I said, this is regular cardstock. It is not uh, watercolor paper. But yet, I think it added so much to the image that I had embossed. I wanted, I wanted the golds, but I wanted some color to make everything kind of come alive. So there you go. Let's see if I can back out just a little and show you both of them. Back out just a tiny bit. There you go. So I hope this helps somebody. If it did, just let me know. And did you notice I colored the hat completely different than I did on that one? And that's okay. I like that one too. But if you have any questions, let me know. This will work on any embossed image. Um, you can try it on watercolor paper. I think it would probably be a. If you use the smooth watercolor paper, it would be great. If you use the textured, it's gonna. It's not gonna emboss that well. So just use the smooth watercolor paper. Stamp your image down. Emboss it. Heat emboss it. Let it sit for a little bit and cool off, and then start your coloring with your watercolor pencils. That's all you need to do. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. If, Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys after a while. I will probably come back with another video before too long. See you later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.